Well, I've been waiting for a while to get a hold of this, and it came just the other day. So I'm here to show you my new toy, which hopefully will make these videos even cooler. Oh yeah, coming right up. Okay, so as most of you probably know, I'm a fan of Kickstarter and Indiegogo, as long as everything works out, which so far I'm batting 100%, so that's excellent because everything I've supported has come into being, nothing has failed, so so far a win for me. I want to say like six months ago or so, I backed a campaign by these guys. I'm going to pronounce them Mui, Mue, Mui, I'll say Mui. Mui sounds good. Muy bueno. Probably not even close to what it is. But that's what it's going to be today. And it is this. Take a look. Shooting cinematic footage is no longer just about image quality, but motion. <laughs> This is Mui, the first pocket-sized dolly for smartphones, making it possible for everyone to capture cinematic footage. With the retractable phone holder and the patent-pending rotary legs, make it possible to achieve perfect linear and curved movements with one tool. What about cameras? Just snap the swivel clip and mount your DSLR, mirrorless, or action cameras. The secure ball joint allows you to capture from any angle. The foldable legs make it compact and create a low center of gravity, providing the best balance even with a DSLR. We've tried hard to develop additional abilities for MUI that enhance its ease of use and boost your creativity. Attaching the flow modules will transform MUI into a motorized dolly. Flow is the most intuitive and simple way to have an automated motion. Just turn it on and scroll for speed adjustment. With Flow X, MUI becomes completely hands-free. You can adjust speed, direction, and control your camera remotely. MUI will go fast enough to follow the action and slow enough to capture perfect time lapses. Track will turn your MUI into a lightweight and easy to set up slider that can be mounted to any tripod. It is made from airplane grade aluminum to ensure the best quality and stability. It's foldable and compact. Just put it into your backpack and discover the world. MUI is small but powerful. It can shoot steep inclined shots on load, climbing freely along the track without a cable or belt. We've gathered an amazing team of product designers and engineers. We iterated and tested it over and over again, finally creating something we are truly proud of. Our mission is to empower and inspire people to tell better stories and make professional videography available for everyone, anywhere, at any time. We are now ready for the first mass production run, but need your support. Back us today and help us bring the most versatile and affordable filmmaking tool into your hands. So anyway, after months of waiting, it arrived. Now, you could order this in multiple packs from the basic, which is just, you kind of push it with your hands, to uh, one with the add-on for the actual camera, so it had like a quarter inch thread on it, to the dual pack, which came with the flow piece, and the camera accessory, and the actual MUI piece. Anyway, that's the one I bought. Now, just so you guys know, you could get it with uh, like a slider rail came in different sizes. I did not get that because I knew that for me, this was something that I was going to be using primarily right here. This is it. Came in this nice little case, which I was already really happy with. Didn't know it would come in a case. 
Let's unzip it here for you guys. Now again, depending on which one you got, my guess is that you would possibly get a different case for it. So anyway, here's this one. Open her up. Perfect. So inside here, what do you get? Well, you get the little USB charging cable, which is exciting. You kind of need that. Uh, nothing else in here. I'm guessing that this would be used for one of the other ones as well. You get the actual little dolly, which is this. You get the flow piece. That's what I ordered, which is the motorized version right here. And for me, I also got the quarter inch thread so that I could actually mount a camera to it. I don't know how heavy a camera you could use. My guess is you wouldn't use anything overly heavy. But for me, I'm going to be using my Canon M100 because I don't need audio. I just need a camera that's going to film good in here. So it's perfect. It's nice and small and mirrorless. On this piece, so this is the actual, I want to say dolly piece. You'll see by default it has, I'll just kind of bring this over here, right here. This pops up and over which is where you could mount your smartphone, right? So here's a smartphone right here, a little on the dusty side. This is the same kind of idea as most elastic that sits up there. You could angle this however you kind of need it, get it where you want, and then you'd have that dolly moving around, which is a little bit of all right, I think. Now for me, I don't use necessarily my smartphone that much, so this would close up, same kind of deal. You just kind of fold it back in place like that. And then on this side here, this is of course where all the wheels come out. So once you get your wheels out like so, and they go all the way out till they snap in place, what happens is you'll actually notice that you can adjust these for different angles and such. See how once they're out, this will snap for straight. When they're in a little bit, these together, sorry, you'll see these ones move so that you can get your angles proper. But when you want to go straight, you just kind of slap them into place. And now you're perfectly straight in your movement, which is cool. Now for those of us that got it with the flow, which is this piece here, what happens is this and you'll actually see there's two almost like little indents on here and on inside this little groove there's little balls i guess you just kind of snap that on and this has a motorized wheel so this little spinning guy here right here and the more you spin this the faster that little wheel spins which is also cool you can hear it right This is why I said that I'm not going to be using the camera for any kind of real like audio capture. So it's really going to be just strictly for capturing video. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull that away. I'm going to take this out and we're going to just do a test real fast. I'm going to bring out my handy little mini cute. Hey, okay? he's going to sit right here. We're going to get this on a bit of an angle so that we can get him doing a nice little circular movement, like so. You guys aren't seeing this part, but that's okay. I'm going to do all this. This, just so you know, nice and simply just snaps on here. So there's little indents that these hook into. Like that, super easy. Okay, get my angle here, get my angle. And you guys, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can widen this bit. There you go. You can see the camera a little bit probably at the bottom of your shot right there. So nice and simple. I'm going to turn this on. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the record button on this camera and fire this thing up. All right, here we go. Okay. We're also going to bring him nice and close just to get that little nice shot as he goes around. Make sure we focus. Good. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice for sure. So that's kind of that's useful. Definitely useful for product shots. Now these guys, 
on their Indiegogo made or were backed with about 800,000 US dollars. So that's that's not horrible. They did actually fairly well. Not the biggest campaign I've ever seen, but I think they did surprisingly well for sure for what it was. And it wasn't something that I saw advertised a crazy amount. Now here's the other cool thing that I like with this, if you so choose, is that for those of us, for instance, I'll just pop this off here, that have a gimbal, which weirdly enough, I have many. What we can do with the gimbal as well, let's see if I can just get this straight here is we'll get this back on. You're all with me so far. I know it is. I know you are. You're golden. I can I can feel it. I can hear it. Is I'm going to grab a gimbal. Hold on. I hope this has some power to it. But anyway, we're going to take this one and we're going to screw it onto that thread mount. So again, this is one that you want to make sure you got the this mount with. Oh, and now we're, now we're playing with gas. What we're going to do now is take my phone, which I have up here. So hold on nicely balanced all good gimbals balancing is fairly important okay i think that's that's pretty okay right there we're going to turn this on all right there we go gimbal we're gonna bring it down a little bit and you could do this with this or if you had something taller for instance let's just shoot this shall we i'm gonna open up their app of course it's got a firmware update so two sex okay so now what i've done is actually set this gimbal and it's apt to do object tracking. I'm gonna bring this over here and turn it on. Ready? That's pretty cool. Now the better of course your object tracking is, the better this would work, but definitely cool. Not bad, not bad. And stop. All right guys, so I just wanted to show this to you because I do think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna put this over here for a second. And zoom you in a bit, there you go. So if you have any interest in getting something fairly inexpensive, this really only, I think it was like $150. Now that was the Indiegogo price. It's probably more expensive now. Do a search for this. So it's a Mui, Mui? I don't know, that's how I pronounce it, Mui, uh, on Indiegogo. I'll put a link down below to where the Indiegogo page is so you guys can go take a look if you're interested. I think it's kinda cool. I'll definitely use it for like product videos because I think it's a great way to get some nice moving shots. And that's all, I'm gonna leave you guys there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will talk to you again in the next video. All right, my friends. Have a great one, and we'll talk to you then. Later.